I'm Carrie Sherburn, Senior Editor at What They Think, and I'm here with Moshe Gill, who is the CEO of Charisma Large Format in Brooklyn. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. So you are the proud owner of a Massivet 3D 1800 3D printer. Very proud. But you're a wide format printer. Yes. So tell us a little bit about how you learned about 3D printing and why you got into that part of the business. Our business, we print and install on buses, on double-decker buses, on mm -hmm. trucks, and on food trucks. Mm -hmm. And uh, we always looking for the next big thing. Mm -hmm. uh, our clientele also would like to get the most for the money. Mm -hmm. While we're printing, it's one thing, but it's become a standard wrapping. Mm -hmm. Everybody, everything's been wrapped. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're always looking to expand our business. So in the last few years, we are expanding the business to uh, lenticular on the buses. We mm -hmm. are doing embellishment of the buses. Mm -hmm. We are doing lights on the buses. Uh, 3D, it was something that was in my mind for a long time. And I was, I was searching uh, for uh, the right machine for us. Mm -hmm. What we found before we found the CVT, we found a machine that create in, 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 in a very high accuracy, a small, very, very, very small model, that's basically mm -hmm. good only for prototype, but mm -hmm. it doesn't serve our business. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine went to Vespa and came back and told me that he found a machine uh, that can print large, uh, four feet by five feet by six feet high. And uh, we know right away that machine is, is for us. We can do something. That machine can fit my business. Mm -hmm. So within a week, I flew to Israel, and uh, I saw the demo, and we signed the contract over there. Wow, that's great. And so going from 2D to 3D is a little bit maybe challenging for some people. People maybe might be a little concerned about that. So tell me how you made that leap. Okay, that's correct. 2D and 3D, it's two different worlds. Mm -hmm. It's not the same. Um, once we signed a contract with Massivit, uh, with the help of Massivit, uh, we purchased a small 3D printer. Mm -hmm. And uh, we purchased uh, the right software and we hire a 3D designer. Mm -hmm. And we start to get familiar with the 3D world. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, how to prepare the file, uh, how to send it to the printer, and while you print it, if you have the problem, how to solve that. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's basically what we did about three to four months before we received the mission. Okay. Now, I understand you had some pretty interesting uh, interaction with Sony using yes. this. Tell us that story. Sony uh, approached us, <clears throat> and they would like to promote the movie. It's called Angry Bird with something that did not, uh, nobody see before. They want something new. Mm -hmm. Uh, I had a meeting with Sony. I had a, I, I went to Hollywood to meet uh, with the crew with Sony, and I took with me a small uh, a small bird, a small bird, uh, a small 3D, angry bird, a small angry bird. Correct. <laughs> now at the time we didn't have the machine because we didn't even go to the training. But mm -hmm. I, I spoke to the Israelis to the, to Masivit, and they overnight me a small angry bird, and that bird I went with, with the bird. I went to the meeting. Mm -hmm. They love it right away, and. Uh, we went from there. Two weeks after that, uh, two, two days after the meeting with Sony, we went to the training to Israel, which mm -hmm. training was great. We spent uh, two weeks over there, and they really taught us the machine from the inside out. When we came back, we were ready to rock and roll. So you, and I heard you t speaking earlier, and you said yeah. that you've been so busy with the machine, you haven't yes. even had time to print samples. That's correct. After we yeah. finish with Sony, we have a couple of other small jobs, mm -hmm. not so impressive like Sony, not mm -hmm. so big. Mm -hmm. Now, right now, what we're doing is uh, Sony is uh, came back to us to promote another movie. We're working on this currently those days. I don't want to mention no names yet, <laughs> but you're going to see it in the street next month. And... Uh, we're really busy with the machine. We start to think about second machine. So, for example, on a on a bus, they might have, you might have the the wrap, the the two yes. D wrap, and then you might put on there the right. beak and the eyes and right. and whatever of the bird. Yeah. Once mm -hmm. we combine the wrap with the with the bus, mm -hmm. it's we don't replace the print. We're still mm -hmm. going to print. We yeah, still yeah, our major yeah. job going to be the regular wrap and printing. Right. We just add it to the print. So when we did Sony, we just print the eyes and the beak, mm -hmm. and uh, we extend it a little bit out of the bus, so it, we extend it enough so we can put lights behind it. Okay. So now everything comes illuminated. It's look great at night, 
and it's also look good at daytime. That's very exciting. Well, next time I'm in New York, I'd love to come and visit you. Absolutely. Terrific. Be my guest. Thank you. Yes. Thank you.